Hey everyone, how are you all doing? I hope you are all fine. So friends, today we are going to see some theory based MCQ of ratio analysis. There will be 17 MCQs and they are not practical. So there will be nothing like calculation in this video. For practical MCQs, we will make another video. Okay, so let's get started. The first is for the interpretation, we can compare ratios with past years ratios, other firms ratio, ideal ratios or all of the above. So the answer will be all of the above. We can use all three of these methods for comparison to make interpretation. Second, how can the accounting ratios not be classified? On the basis of traditional method, on the basis of financial statements, manager's decision or the nature of the ratio. So here the answer will be on the basis of manager's decision. The basis of financial statements is the second name for the traditional method. So they are both same and we classify as balance sheet ratios, PNL ratios and mixed ratios. And on the basis of nature of the ratio, we classify as liquid ratios, profitability ratios, activity ratios and leverage ratios. The third is which of the following is a mixed ratio, rate of return on capital employed, current ratio, expenditure ratio or interest coverage ratio. The answer will be A, rate of return on capital employed. Mixed ratio is a ratio that will use one data of balance sheet and another data of PNL. So if I check the formula of all these given options for rate of return on capital employed, I need profit before interest and tax and capital employee that is equity share, preference share, long term debt, reserve surplus and less fictitious assets. So the profit will be found in PNL and capital employed will be in balance sheet. So this is my mixed ratio. The fourth is which of the following is not a profit and loss account ratio? A operating ratio, return on shareholders fund, expenditure ratio or stock turnover ratio. Here the answer will be B rate of return on shareholders fund. Profit and loss account ratios are the ratios that uses the particulars of PNL account only in their formula. So for rate of return on shareholders fund, I need profit after interest and tax and shareholders fund that is equity share, preference share, reserve surplus and fictitious assets. So the profit will be found in PNL and shareholders fund will be there in balance sheet. So this is not my PNL ratio. In all other options, we will use only PNL accounts particulars. Next is which of the following is not a balance sheet ratio, liquid ratio, debt equity ratio, interest coverage ratio or current ratio. The answer will be interest coverage ratio. Balance sheet ratios are the ratios that uses the particulars of balance sheets only in their formula. So for interest coverage ratio, I need profit before interest and tax and interest paid on long term debt. So the profit will be found again in PNL and long term debt will also be found in PNL. So this is not my balance sheet ratio. In all other options, we will use balance sheets particulars only. Next is which of the following is a profitability ratio in terms of sales return on capital employed return on shareholders fund cross profit ratio or earning per share. So the answer will be cross profit ratio profitability in terms of sales makes basic formula profit divided by sales into 100 and only cross profit ratio makes this formula among other options. Here are some other profitability ratios in terms of sale that can be used instead of gross profit ratio in the same question. Next, which of the following is a profitability ratio in terms of investment, gross profit ratio, expenditure ratio, operating ratio or rate of return on equity share capital. So here the answer will be rate of return on equity share capital. Profitability ratios in terms of investment makes basic formula profit divided by investment into 100 and only rate of return on equity share capital makes this formula among all other options. Okay. And here are some other profitability ratio in terms of investment that can be used. Eight one is which of the following is a leverage ratio, debt equity ratio, capital gearing ratio, interest coverage ratio or all of the above. The answer will be D all of the above. These all are leverage ratios along with proprietary ratio. Ninth one, which of the following is an activity ratio, stock turnover, debtors ratio, creditors ratio or all of the above. So again, the answer will be all of the above. These all are activity ratios along with assets turnover ratio. Tenth, which of the following option is indicating the usefulness of ratio analysis? checks profitability, checks liquidity based on historic data or both A and B. 
so friends here we have to observe all the options and we have to decide which option is positive in terms of ratio analysis the answer will be d both a and b as they are positive towards ratio analysis based on historic data is actually a negative point so a and b are correct next which of the following option is indicating the limitations of ratio analysis the lack of standard ratios based on historic data other investigations required or all of the above here search for negative points and answer will be all of the above as all of them are negative towards ratio analysis 12th liquid assets will not include stock bills receivable debtors or cash and equivalents so here the answer will be stock stock is not my liquid asset along with expenditure paid in advance next quick assets will not include marketable securities bills receivables debtors or cash and equivalents here the answer will be debtors as it is not quickly convertible into the cash 14th which profit is considered for calculating rate of return on equity shareholders fund profit before interest and tax profit before tax profit after interest and tax and before preference share dividend or profit after interest tax and preference dividend so for rate of return on equity shareholders fund we need a profit of equity shareholders that means after interest tax and preference dividend next in the calculation of which ratio fictitious assets is not considered rate of return on capital employed rate of return on shareholders fund rate of return on equity shareholders fund or rate of return on equity share capital so the ratio in which we don't take reserves and surplus for that ratio fictitious assets will not be deducted so the answer is rate of return on equity share capital as we only take share capital in the formula no reserves and surplus so no fictitious assets will be considered 16th proprietary ratio equals to owners fund divided by total net assets in 200 or net assets divided by owners fund in 200 total fund divided by owners fund in 200 or long term debt divided by owners fund in 200 so the answer will be a owners fund divided by total net assets in 200 and 17th capital employed less owners fund is equal to shareholders fund equity share capital long term debt or fictitious assets the answer will be c long term debt capital employed includes equity share preference share reserve surplus long term debt less fictitious assets and owners fund includes equity share preference share reserve surplus less fictitious assets so the difference between the two is only long term debt okay so that's all our theory based mcq for ratio analysis thanks for watching do consider to like and share this video and also subscribe to our channel see you soon bye